It's a rainy day in London. We haven't play tested this at all. I have no idea if this is going to work, but this is Aaron from Mr. Who's the Boss. Hello. And you have an air tag. I do. So this is basically a low power Bluetooth tracker, and I'm going to stick it in Tom's pocket and see if I can find you. The producers have put together a list of things to do in London. I've got one hour from when I see that list to do as much of it as I can. And all Aaron has to do is catch me. How confident are you? I feel great, because I just realized Tom has an iPhone, and these things get their location by pinging off iPhones. So every time I open this up for Google Maps... I'm going to know where you are. Every time I walk past someone with any Apple device? Yep. All right, it's in the pocket. One hour on the clock, and I've got a three-minute head start. This is now... Are you stretching? <laughs> This is, this is going to look rough and ready because all we have on cameras here are one GoPro for each of us following. So, do you want to get the timer ready? Yep. One hour. Yep. Three, two, two one, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Okay, so we've got to give him three minutes. He's a, he's a fast runner. Right, so I've only got three minutes before he's on the move. So, first step is go underground where this isn't going to work right away. As soon as he turns his phone off, we're going to struggle to track him like as accurately. It's not updating. Tom. Dance to a busker. Take a selfie with his shot. Oh, blimey, there's so many things here. This is a lot of challenges, though. Closest one is feed, right, feed the ducks in the Royal Park. I'm going to need somebody to salute, salute a guard at Buckingham Palace. We're, go, we're going to Buckingham Palace. That's happening. OK, so I'm going to check the list to see where he's going. Green Park. I need Green Park. Three minutes feels like such a long time. This, this requires London geography. <laughs> He's had several minutes to think, whereas I just panicked and ran, and I think that might have been a bad idea. I'm going to have to Google a lot of these things. The good news is, as soon as I'm on this train, he's not going to get this train, and he's not going to be able to track me. But he'll know I'm on the tube. He's in the station. He's in the station? OK. But where's he going? <laughs> right, we should, we should probably get started. All right. <laughs> Could you imagine if we got on the same train as him? This is some much-needed cardio. The tube is so fast, and yet feels so slow right now. This is incredibly frustrating. <laughs> On the bright side, though, as part of this game, Tom can only use each form of public transport once. I don't think it's going to be, like, that accurate tracking. I, I, I trust these air tags. Oops, sorry, excuse me. So the reason I picked Covent Garden is I think quite a few things on this list he could do there. It feels like candidate number one. <laughs> Feed the ducks. Mimic a statue. There will be a statue in Covent Garden. One more stop, is it? OK, easy first point. Imitate a statue. This is where London knowledge comes in handy. Two more stops. Might as well get a seat. What have we got? We got uh, facing this way. Going to be using these. Turn that way. That, it turns out, is a very, very difficult position to back. Do you think that's close enough? Do I get the point? Do stand this way. Yeah. Good enough. That's one. This way. He could go on the bus, but you're almost faster walking in London. He could take a bike. He's a bit of a rogue character. Tom Scott could do anything. I did not realize quite how paranoid I'd be how quickly, because this is, I know, like the worst case, absolute worst case, he's one train behind me. But this is a very big open space. And I am now very trackable. All right, Tom Scott, I'm coming for you. Or maybe we're on the other side of London, we'll find out. Ah, uh, have I got time? To the stairs. I don't have time. I don't have time. Is, it, is this an exit? I don't know. All right. What is this? Ah! Buckingham Palace. The pain. The pain. Tom, what have you done to me, Tom? Guard. Guard. Me. Guard. <laughs> Two. No, I realise I should have. I should have taken the lift. Ah! I don't suppose you've got any. I don't suppose you've got any, like, snacks on you for duck feeding or anything like that, have you? Because... Uh, half a Milky Way bar. <laughs> Is it okay to feed a Milky Way bar to ducks? Okay, so we're in Covent Garden now. About to check the air tag location. Hopefully he's here. Hey Siri, can ducks eat chocolate? So the air tag is still putting his location as the underground, which means he might not have got out the train yet. <laughs> 
Why are you giving me the nutrition information for a duck? What do we do now then? What if he's just doing a lap of London? <laughs> Even with me being skeptical of how good the air tag is, Aaron must have got a location. He must know I'm in this area by now. So let's get it. Let's feed a duck and get out. That is a pigeon. <sighs> My confidence levels are dropping. <laughs> that is a crow. That's a goose. There's got to be a duck around here somewhere. Oh. Tom is not updating. No. You know what he's done? He's probably turned his phone on airplane mode. To chocolate is toxic to livestock like ducks. Mm, that's, uh, that looks like a shop. That's a coot. Those are swans. Those are. Where are the, where are the ducks? Today on I Identify Birds. So the issue is if Tom has put his phone on airplane mode, then we can't rely on the air tag to constantly ping his location from his iPhone. So we've instead got to wait for him to pass other people with iPhones for that air tag to ping the location off them. Let's just go towards the water and hope he pops up. Yes, I got a receipt. That's a business <laughs> expense. This is a business expense slice of carrot cake. Where are the ducks? Where are the, there are the ducks. Water's our best shot. We just got to outrun him. Can I see Aaron anywhere? I don't, I don't see him. Oh, oh, okay, it's updated. Queen Victoria and Memorial. <gasps> He's not far. He's not far. Duck Island <laughs> is where he is. The duck. He's duck. feeding the ducks, he duck. is. Duck, duck, go on. That's a point. So it looks like Tom's managed to sneak in a cheeky little uh, duck feeding session on the way down, but we're gonna cut him off before he gets to the Thames. This way, St. James Park Station. What's I'm gonna eat? Do you want some carrot cake? Oh, yes, we can. There we go. Okay, he's moving. I can see him moving. Mm -hmm. There's no more. Right, can we go to Westminster Station, please? What can we get around here? Because I can't take the tube again. So, across the Thames, visit a famous boat. There must be a tourist hat shop there where I can get a stupid hat. Change one item of clothes. Yeah, all right. South. Oh, also parakeets. There. YouTube guy. Yeah. I know, yeah. Also in the middle of a chase game right now, but enjoy the parakeets. <laughs> So three of the tasks involve this river right here, and we're basically guarding the waterway to make sure he doesn't get these done. I just know there's going to be, <laughs> somewhere in this video, there's going to be just this devastating shot out of a cab window as he goes down past there. I'm pa paranoid of every cab now. Okay, it's just updated again. He's that way. Right. Oh, he's updated. Going. Strand? Apparently that's close. Okay. I don't see him. I don't see him. Okay, I think the world's smallest police station is around here. I don't see him. I don't see him. Point and run. Hmm. Probably there. I still don't see him. Okay. He said you can't cover London on foot. Okay, there are two choices. With the time left, there's only two, maybe three I can get. Cross the Thames. Uh, recite a line of Shakespeare at the Globe. That's down there, but that's a long way. Or buy a gift for Aaron from Covent Garden. That's a time waster. Change one item of clothes. That's two in Covent Garden. And then cross the Thames from there. Covent Garden, it's right there. It's right there. I hate to say this, but I think it may be time to run again. Ah, traffic. Here we go. We're as close as we've been right now. All right, I need to buy a gift for Aaron. I need to get a bit of clothing for myself. I mean, I should really go to the Apple store and get him an air tag, but I think he's already got about 10 of them. Okay, wait. Thank you. Is it possible to get a printed receipt though, please? Yes. Thank yes. you. This is the team's new production office, where all the prep for the videos on this channel happens, and this is the new office decoration that I'm putting up today, thanks to Displate, who are sponsoring this video. Displate make posters made of beautifully printed metal, which elevates these way above anything you'd normally find on an office wall. And the mounting system uses fancy magnets, so you don't need any tapes or hammers or power tools to put them up, you just Put them in place.
You can also use their new 3D magnets to make it seem like the post is hovering away from the wall. These are the medium-sized ones, which fit nicely on our panels here. They're also available in larger sizes and framed up if you like, in either gloss or matte to fit your wall. For the office, we went for the light map of London, which looks spectacular, printed up on metal like this. And this beautiful bit of art by Frank Moth. They've also got officially licensed posters from Star Wars, Marvel, DC, and a load of movies and video games. And I also got this print of NASA's Grand Tour design from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, uh, but I'm taking this one home. You can go to the link in the video description to get a discount and see the displays that the team and I here recommend. Right, back to the show. <laughs> right, okay, got him a gift. I am now terrified that he has, while I was in there, Talking to the, the wonderfully chatty, but unfortunately, that's not what I really wanted at that moment, the, the unfortunately chatty shop assistant that he ran by, got the photo, and moved on, and is now tracking me. We've got to find him, at least. We've got to just see Tom Scott. It's like a, it's like a mirage at this point. Come on, let's go. Where are all the tourist tat shop? London Transport Museum. If he's found me by now, I'm done for. Oh. Thank you. Can I get a receipt, please? Do I see him? Can I see him? I don't see him anywhere. I'm going to sneak down this, this corner. And on the assumption he hasn't got eyes on me right now. I hate this hat, but nevertheless, that's, I think, a point. Oh, God. My London geography is terrible. If I'd known this, I would have revised. If I go the wrong way, I think I've gone the wrong way. If Aaron's smart and he's tracking me, then he'll see me going south. There's only, only like one possible route I could be taking now. I think, I think. If I've missed a really obvious strategy, it's gonna be really annoying. Look how close we are. Come on, Tom, come on, anywhere here. Just wanna see him at this point. Will it be quicker to find a bus stop? Oh, there's the bus stop. All right, bus stop, south. That'll be, should be quicker overall. I am watching you, Tom. I'm ready. Right. Any bus going to Waterloo? Any bus, literally any bus from this stop? No, hang on. 1, 188, 68, 168, 52, 43. 1, that bus will do. Literally, any person here could be him. He's moved a little bit more. Let's go, let's run. The driver has been told to wait at this bus stop for a short time to have even out the service. We apologize for any inconvenience to your journey. Oh, do you? I'd like to think I've made smart decisions in this game, and I really, I really don't think I have. Oh. No. Oh, wait, I can't tell, is that him? This is a bad decision. This was such a bad, every, Every other bus is going by. I should have got off this one. We are literally one minute away from him. Come on, okay, we have eight minutes left. We've got to do this. Okay, okay, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. We're almost on top of him. We should have play tested this. Absolutely not. He was last seen here four minutes ago. Come on, give me something, give me something. Somewhere down here. I don't see him. I don't see him, I don't see him, I don't see him. I'm still wearing this stupid hat, aren't I? Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's assume river, let's go. The globe is hopefully less than seven minutes run that way. Here we go. Oh, he could be on a bus. There is not a way down here. So if he is actually sat on a bus and he's not near anyone who has an Apple device, we've got no chance. I'll see you at the Globe or on the way there. This was a bad plan. This is a very bad plan. I should have got a taxi. You idiot. <laughs> Might as well spend my last minute enjoying the sights of London. From my side, I've learned that I'm planning under pressure is awful, genuinely awful. <laughs> What's it like, a million Apple devices in this city? And that is time. <laughs> oh no, is that my gift? 
got you a gift. Oh, no. <laughs> I've never been so upset to receive something. <laughs> it was so close. And Thank you. Also, in, in a change of pocket, an air tag. Uh, Did you just guess where I was going on the tube? Yeah, we kind of had to, because the whole time we were like three minutes behind. Yeah. And because air tags don't give you direction, we just kind of had to use your kind of like right. rough. And you had to look at the list and work out, OK, he's probably going to hit those. Yeah. yeah. OK, so you could have followed me home with it, but you can't like live yeah. Stalk someone. Exactly with it. that. That's what I was thinking. Right. In theory, it should be really accurate because it's like a billion yeah. devices around the world. Yeah. But I guess in practice, when you're moving fast, maybe <laughs> it doesn't actively have actively the... trying not yeah. to be found. Yeah. With a lot of walls, are going to bounce GPS stuff off everything. That's also true. Yeah. I guess the other thing I was thinking is this doesn't necessarily prove that it's not a good tracking device because this time you were aware that I put one on you. Oh, if I wasn't, r the number of times I was going. See, wait, run, I'm going, I'm, no, I'm by the wall here, I'm going to stay out of the way. I was yeah. convinced multiple times <laughs> that you were just hiding behind somewhere, ready. I am looking forward to seeing this back and seeing just how close you got. Yeah, me too. This is Thank great. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> All right, see ya. <laughs> Don't wander off now. Got, oh, sorry. We can go to the pub. <laughs> oh, yeah.